アニメスパイウォーズこれ好き Hi, every- okay, do you want to start? Yeah, first? That's, that's my part. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Jump Report. I'm your host, Noah. And I'm Taylor. And today we are going to be talking about Spy Family.、Uh, we've been excited for this one for a while now, so we definitely recommend it, and you guys should definitely check it out. So, Spy Family is about international super spy Twilight. He only takes on the toughest of missions, all in order to keep the peace between two conflicting countries. His mission this time takes him to infiltrate an elite private school in order to get close to a prominent government official that also has a son attending the school. The catch? He has one week to find a wife and a kid in order to enroll them in the same school. However, the people Twilight finds for his surrogate family have just as big of a secret as he does. The daughter, Anya Folger, is a telepath that escaped from a research facility when she was young, and the mother, Yor Folger, has a second identity as an assassin. Of course, only Anya has any clue about her parents' identities. Spy Family is a story about a spy, an assassin, and a telepath coming together to make a family for the sake of world peace. One of the things that stuck out to me about this anime is its unique setting. It's very Cold War esque and in some ways reminds me of the anime Monster. Just a little bit happier though. A lot of the equipment, cars, and technology we see the characters interact with and use is a staple of both the time period and pulp spy fiction. A lot of anime we've seen in recent memory has either had a modern Japanese setting like Jujutsu Kaisen. Or a medieval fantasy setting that we see in a lot of isekais. So, seeing this setting in Spy Family is very much a breath of fresh air. On a side note, a lot of the aesthetics of the opening sequence are cool too, and almost remind me of the earlier parts of JoJo. There's a few aspects of the show I thought were done really well. Firstly, the show is pretty wholesome, and it's designed to make you feel good. Personally, I love shows like that, as it's a pretty stress free watch. Secondly, the comedic element of the show is executed wonderfully. Most of the comedy comes from Anya's unique perspective, as her ability to read minds allows for some hilarious interactions. The character depth in the show is what's really drawn me in. I mean, we're only three episodes in, and I already feel attached to all the main characters, and I'm just hoping that they can be happy as a family. I originally wanted to read the manga series for Spy Family, just as Taylor did. However, I saw that there was an anime adaptation around the corner, so I just decided to wait. However, one of the things that stuck out to me about this series, even before I saw the anime, was the high stakes that are at hand for this show. We have no doubts that Twilight will complete his mission and get the job done. However, the question posed to the audience that I find intriguing is what will come to the family after this mission is over. We see Twilight early on into the first episode abandon a woman that served as his love interest for the role he was playing. When this mission is complete, will Twilight abandon his surrogate family, giving Anya back to the orphanage from where she came? Or will Twilight grow soft and decide his espionage days are over, deciding to live out his life with the family that he's grown close to? This show is a perfect example of the slice of life genre done right. While there is action in the episodes and the pacing is by no means slow, I don't feel rushed or dragged along. They take the time to show the ordinary moments and give the audience a window into the characters' lives. I'm not stressed out during the episodes, but rather I feel relaxed, and that is what I think makes the genre what it is. There is tension and action in the episodes, but it's not the main focus, it's the everyday ordinary, and that's what the slice of life genre is all about. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. We hope that you enjoyed this episode and we hope that you go ahead and check out Spy Family. We really enjoyed the episodes that have been coming out so far for the series and we hope that you enjoy it too. Yep, sorry for the lack of uploads lately. We've been pretty busy with school, but look forward for some more videos coming out in the next couple of weeks. And if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you can't wait to see more videos. And make sure to leave a comment down below. Tell us how you guys have been liking Spy Family so far. And if you guys have any recommendations for shows we should cover, leave them down in the comments. I love to read them, and I always try and check out any recommendations. Ah, yes, this is good.
Listen, guys, you gotta help me. He's been keeping me in a basement all day editing videos. I haven't been able to come out at all. He's been playing Elden Ring this whole time. This is the reason why we haven't been able to upload any videos. I've been telling him, hey, when are we gonna come out with a new video? He's just been telling me his new faith build that he's been working on. What the hell does that have to do anything with anime? It has nothing to do with anime. You gotta help me, guys. You really do.